One, our left until your face is centered on my mind all day. Two years since it happened and I can't help but scream flying lily petals in the air hoping to reach your resting place. I didn't know you. Well enough to leave a gash in my heart, but an indent will always have my breathing a bit off. Your smile was a crescent white so perfect you had the moon envious at even its most luminous. All I can wonder is if you ever could have seen a misguided bullet coming. Ever knew that your fingertips wouldn't touch a football again. Imagined that your feet wouldn't grace the stage on graduation. That your gracious arms would never wrap around kin or friends again. For that time I knew you. In empty geometry classes with iPods out instead of textbooks. I never thought the guy sitting next to me would elope so soon with the heavens. None of us saw it coming. I'm forgetting how to count. I'm forgetting which came first, my hunger or my thirst, because both are quenched by the bloodstains that keep filling my vision. I'm sorry that I cried. I've never known anyone to pass, so you leaving was a shock. I've never had to deal with an emptiness that couldn't be filled or forgotten like that vacant chair in our classroom. Your mother lost her son. Your girlfriend lost her love. Your family lost a member. They must be feeling a hurt that I have no scars to prove I felt before. There was a fire in my chest, no burn marks to show I've experienced. Living in a bubble doesn't make it easy to grow. So when a bullet spikes through broken record days, feels like the needle isn't following the right track, knowing that someone you knew was shot with a bullet. Never knew the word shot could bring so much force to my lips and bullet so many blanks in my thought process. I've had too many curious thoughts about how a bullet, before you were ready, could force you into a kingdom with the skies. Was your honeymoon sweet? Do you breathe easier without your body hugging your soul now? There are grinding knuckles hidden underneath my chest, deep enclosed within the beating of my heart, and I've been fighting off this feeling of guiltiness for caring so much for not knowing how I should feel, for the cork suppressing my innocence in a bottle about to burst, I didn't know how to act, didn't know if there was a right way to mourn a person you only saw in glimpses of a week, if it was okay to cry, because it was enough that I knew him, because it could have been anyone, because no one saw it coming, replayed the last time I saw you over and over and over again. Homecoming, broken bleachers, and quick goodbye hugs. Malik, I didn't know you well. Malik, I thought about you more dead than alive. But I know that you're gliding peacefully along the heavenly sands on the crust of the moon with a grin to light up the night. So whenever eyes wander to the thought of you, or when you are missed, we will always know where to look. <laughs>